In 2018, a free-to-play RPG was unleashed on the public, but the game has changed significantly since then, so welcome to the 2022 Farming Guide for New Players. In this video, we're revealing my top characters and top teams that new and mid-game players should focus on. So if you're lost, no one else can help. Well, it's your lucky day because you found it, so maybe you can follow the V-Team. Alley Flyer. Hello, hello, hello. What is up, Valley Maniacs? I am Valley Flying. Welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. Hope you're having a great day. And if you are lost and stuck at the newer mid game point, well, this is the video for you. We're going to talk about all the best characters and best teams that you should focus on in Marvel Strike Force. And if you have not already subscribed, we publish at least five Marvel Strike Force videos per week on this channel. So hit that subscribe button, share this with your friends, check me out on social media. But let's get into the guide. Now, for this guide, we're relying on this character farming guide from Tana that he did. This was updated on the 5th of May, and there are some changes that are in the game right now that uh, are not reflected in this guide. First, heroes section. Heroes 6 9. Well, magic is farmable on this section. Captain Marvel's not there anymore. She is in the Blitz store only. We also have another significant change, and that is in the Mix 6 section. Loki is not here anymore. We have Lady Death Strike in this. Now, we're going to focus on a few teams in this guide here. And for that, I want to talk about the legendary characters because for so long, the legendary characters were the most important characters in the game. I always thought those were the best characters to get because they allow you to have the full roster in Marvel Strike Force. So I was always focused on them. But as you can see, some of these legendary characters don't have a lot of value in the game anymore. Adam Warlock is still a good character, but to unlock him takes so long. So that's not a high priority, I think, for newer and mid-game players. Black Bolt lost a lot of value recently, but got a little bit back because now he is part of that Scourge event for uh, Rogue coming up. Doc Ock, not a very good character anymore, but uh, if you unlock him, he could give you some value in the raids. Ebony Maw's lost a lot of value. Invisible Woman's lost a lot of value, and Iron Man has never really had a lot of value. Jubilee is still a very good character, and for that, you're going to need Pim Tech. So we're going to talk about some Pim Tech characters that you can uh, start to focus on early on. But because this Yellow Jacket is not available for a late node, this is probably a later game for Magneto, not very important. Now, Nick Fury. Nick Fury himself is not as important as he was at one time, but one of the best legendary characters in the game right now is Omega Red, and you're going to need Nick Fury to unlock Omega Red. So... Unfortunately, you're still going to need to farm some dirty, trashy Kree minions in order to get Nick Fury so you can get Omega Red. Phoenix has some value nowadays, but the big one I want to focus on is Shuri. So many different Spider-Verse characters to unlock her. So much value in the raids with her uh, with her abilities, uh, with her recent rework. And she's part of the Wakandans, who recently also got reworked and are very, very good in Cosmic Crucible. So we're going to go through all of these campaign nodes. We're going to go through all these and talk about these characters. Now, a couple of other characters that are not on this list. Morgan Le Fay, you need to get her best more uh, legendary character in the game right now. She is unlocked with Web Warriors, who are kind of a late game team. They're not all farmable yet. Same thing with the Dark Hunters. No way to get Morbius and Doctor Voodoo. So uh, Morgan Le Fay, very good character. Probably gonna get her later on. And Rogue is coming up. Young Adventures, A Force, and the Inhumans unlocker. You could get some of these characters but not all of them. So Shuri and Fury are going to be the two that we focus on. And then down the road, we're going to be focusing on Jubilee and Omega Red. And we're going to get kind of a bonus unlock for uh, an Invisible Woman because I still think there's some value for the Sinister Six. Let's go take a look at these nodes. And we can go by this node by node. Let's start with the Heroes campaign. What characters have value in this? Well, as we scroll down, there's one character that really stands out to me. Obviously, we got some Kree minions, which I think newer players should still be focused on in the background. Maybe not for your primary farm, but like we talked about, Nick Fury is very important for Omega Red, and Omega Red is important in many, many game modes. So you're still going to want to farm these dirty Kree minions. But one character that I do want to focus on is Miles here. He is a web warrior, still used at the end game today. 
and he has a Young Avengers tag. So he's a part of a couple different teams, a couple different legendary unlocks. So Miles is going to be a very early game farm that's still, at least with the meta as it is right now, is still going to carry you through to the late game. Mysterio is here as well. And I think one of the early teams that should focus on is the Sinister Six. The reason for the Sinister Six, well, there are an early villain campaign uh, team that you could use in the villain campaigns. Once you have these villain nodes unlocked, well, you can start to shift off a of Sinister Six because frankly, nowadays they have very little value. Even Doc Ock has very little value. The other team I want to focus on is the Heroes for Hire because they have some or very early hero synergy. They have one of the better characters in the game in Shang-Chi and there's still a very decent raid character if you're in an unlimited raid and in a gamma is even at the uh, difficult 4.3 those heroes for hire still smash and if you like war they're one of the best if not it's still the best war defense team out there so on the heroes campaign i'm looking at mysterio here for the sinister six i'm looking at miles here for the web warriors eventually the young avengers right now and then uh, some of these other characters may be focusing on a little colossus he still has some value in the uncanny x-men and then the asgardians they are getting a rework thor is not getting too much of re re rework but they'll be good and then we got some other characters like winter soldier who's also uh needed for omega red so these are some backup characters but i think the two primary characters that you want to focus on miles and mysterio and then some of these cream minions unfortunately let's move down to the villains campaign and talk about who is valuable now who's still valuable at the end game well we talked about legendary unlocks jessica jones is right here she's part of the a force and that unlock for rogue i think down the road you're gonna need her but i think one of the early campaigns that you're gonna or, or like characters that you're gonna want is green goblin because he is a sinister six and you could use him for this villain campaign uh you could also use him to unlock the legendary shuri moving down in villains we also see wasp here who you're gonna lead down the road to unlock jubilee so start working in your pimp deck as soon as you can um if if you have the campaign energy we also have america chavez here on villain 69 and two characters that you're gonna need eventually hella she is uh unlocked for black bolt and black bolt is a unlock for ebony mob both these characters have fallen off they're not really meta nowadays but hella once you could get to this section here you can start to farm her and that is a good thing Iceman, you're not really going to need him until you get Jubilee. So once you have your Pym Tech done and you're waiting for Jubilee to pop up, that's when I would start to probably work on our all the Astonishing X-Men. As of me recording this, still the best mutant Doom Raid team in the game at the end game, and uh, you could get a jump on them right now. So these two characters work on down the road. America Chavez is part of that important Young Avengers team. Unfortunately, two of the important members, Kate Bishop and Echo, not farmable. So they'll be an incomplete team until they become farmable let's move on to nexus and there are a few characters here that i do want to point out we got one of the heroes for hiring iron fist on nexus one nine very very important character as we move down we also have squirrel girl who is arguably one of the most uh valuable characters for this pestilence scourge event excuse me the famine scourge event for road coming up very good now nebula you're not going to get a full Infinity Watch team for a while because Adam Warlock, you do need Jubilee. You do need these uh, X-Factor characters to get her, or the X-Force characters. What the, the one with the dad bros, anyway. Uh, you need those characters to unlock Adam Warlock. So once you have that, the Infinity Watch still has uh, a lot of value in the game, but nebula gamora are a very powerful combo they could win you some matches in the raids we also get the reworked black panther for the wakanda it's very very good team now that they have reworked good in all game modes but shine in cosmic crucible elsa bloodstone with that dark hunters tag beast as part of that astonishing x-men team you could probably hold off on some of these characters for a while as a new player but eventually these are characters that you were going to want to get akoya another member of the wakanda that was recently reworked and we have Karnak here. I probably wouldn't farm him unless you have an overabundance of energy you don't know what to do with. He is uh, part of that team. He's on the team for the Inhumans and that unlock of Rogue, but I don't think he's going to be one of the valuable characters to get that. And then Thanos. This is where Thanos is. Now, the Black Order has lost a lot of value since they were introduced a few years ago. 
they still can they still have some use in the game so if you if this is a character if you have a lot of extra energy i would go ahead and uh, farm thanos but not before some of these other characters that we mentioned let's move on to cosmic and in cosmic there's a few different characters stature for that pym tech and that jubilee unlock you're gonna want to get her ghost rider for that dark hunters uh team and that morgan lafay unlock and we also have polaris here that you're gonna eventually need for uh, Adam Warlock, but I think the primary target on the Cosmic Campaign, once you have that unlocked, is Stature. All right, moving down to the Mystic. We have some characters here for Mystic. I think Cable still has a little bit of value because of the speed manipulation that he does. And if you eventually are getting Doc Ock, he will be a part of that unlock. Miss Marvel is here, that Young Avengers tag, and a very, very annoying team. And this is a character that you can start to farm right away. And then Lady Deathstrike is on Mystic Three Sticks. And Loki is not here. She's gonna give you a lot of value down the road in tech. I don't know if she's really, really valuable in the newer to mid game, but eventually you're gonna want Lady Deathstrike as well. So keep an eye on her. Let's move on to the last, but not least, a do more campaign. So a lot of good characters here. Uh, the only real one I think you need as a newer mid game player is this yellow jacket right here. And that is so you could get Jubilee with the rest of the pimp deck. Now you don't need to build up your pimp deck a lot. A lot of the unlock and the challenges and nodes are going to be revolving around ghost. So all you need is actually the shards for yellow jacket here. Same thing for Negasonic Teenage Warhead. The X factors lost a lot of value in the game. So... Uh, or X Force. X Force has a lot. X X Factor, excuse me, has lost a lot of value in the game, but you're still going to need them to unlock uh, Doc Ock there. So uh, she'll give you some value and decent war offense team. And then Captain Sam, let's not forget about him because he is needed for Omega Red. This is a character that you're going to want to start working on once you get closer to unlocking Jubilee. And we also have Moon Dragon here, who is part of that. Um, uh, team the infinity watch team who has lost a lot of value but is still a good team that you're gonna want in multiple game modes and then for as far as adam warlock we have another character here for x factor so uh yeah a lot of different characters on doom war but if you're just narrowing the focus right now early mid game players should be focused on this guy was uh yellow jacket right now all right so that is it for the campaign nodes let's move on to the store let's talk about the arena store now the arena store does have an orb in there but because the orb costs more than a lot of these characters actual getting the shards i would hold off as a new player and getting the arena orb it's it's not one of the best values in the game now if we look at some of these characters here no value in these uh, reduced cost characters we get some value in some of these characters uh death dead deadpool is part of the x force so he is a legendary unlock character for Doc Ock, so not really needed in Endgame. But if we were to focus on one, probably would focus on Scarlet Witch here because she is a part of that Darkhold team. Again, this is a team that you're going to use later on. Let's move on to this 500 category because this is characters that newer mid-game players are going to find a lot more value in. Uh, one that I want to focus on down here is Colleen Wing, the only place you could farm her. Hopefully, she'll be coming out of this increased cost soon and going into this uh, reduced cost, but that'll probably be after Phylavel down the road. So it's uh, still very difficult to farm, but if you don't want to start to build heroes for hire right away, you have some other options. Uh, Heimdall and Baku, both of them recently, well, Heimdall hasn't had his rework yet, but Mbaku recently got his rework as part of the Wakandan team. So he's going to be very good. And we have two Sinister Six characters. This is where I think newer mid game players should focus on early on and then start to branch out to characters like Colleen Wing, Mbaku, Heimdall, and that is going to be Vulture and Swarm, two important members of the Sinister Six. And like I said, once you completed all the nodes in Villain, you could skip the Sinister Six, go back. Uh, you could use them to unlock Shuri, but uh, once you're completed the Villain's campaign, you probably don't need to keep working on the Sinister Six. But until then, until you've three-starred all those nodes, you probably want to wait, or you probably want to be building them until you could build... Uh, finish all those campaign nodes all right let's move on to the next one and that is the raid store now you're gonna have four random characters pop up first is always a non-minion you have raid orbs and these raid orbs are little reduced cost so for newer and mid game players these raid orbs i would recommend opening them you're not going to be able to select your characters there's some good characters in here 
Uh, ones that I would focus on, though, are a few of them. Now, Zemo and Killmonger are pretty good. These are probably more mid-game uh, characters. We got a Mysterio here. We got another Sinister Six character. This is probably who I would focus on if I was focus farming. And then down the road, there's a lot of characters that you're going to need down the road. You could kind of get a jump on. Zemo is very good at endgame for his early, early ability block. That's a character that I think you're going to need down the road. Uh, I mentioned Killmonger. He is one of the Wakandas that got a rework. Also part of that military skill team. So he has a few different uses down the road. And those Wakandans are uh, unlocked for Chaos Theory. Those uh, Heroes for Hire that we talked about are going be unlocked for block party those are some flash events that come around every month giving you some valuable resources and some other characters that you're eventually going to need sharon carter for omega red you're going to need that kitty pride is part of the best mutant raid team right now in the axe man you can start to work on her once you are close to getting jubilee cloak is part of the best mystic team but dagger is not really farmable right now so you could hold off on her she is an arena orb but i don't consider that farmable at this point uh and yo yo she is an inhuman and you can use inhumans in the unlock for rogue so a few different characters but if we had to narrow it down for newer players i think i would focus on mysterio right now once you finish the villains campaign like i said focus on some of these other characters but until then i think the most valuable character in the arena store is going to be mysterio let's move on to the blitz store now now, I don't know if I would farm focus farm characters in a blitz store. You're going to get more shards by opening those orbs. And there's a lot of good characters in the blitz store that new players are going to need. Let's go down. Shang-Chi is in the blitz store right now. Uh, he is not listed on here because that is something that switched uh, after this was published. But Shang-Chi is probably the best character. He is a heroes for hire. And uh, he, you can use him in block party. We got a lot of heroes for hire actually here. We have Misty Knight. As we move down, we have Luke Cage in the store as well. We have Gamora in here. We have Ant-Man here for that Jubilee unlock. So many good characters in this. Spider-Man is part of the Web Warriors. And you could use him to unlock Shuri as well. And we also have Miles here. We have some more Sinister Six characters in Swarm. Uh, excuse me, not Swarm. In electro and rhino is a lot of a lot of different characters here so for that reason and a lot of characters that you're going to need oh yeah and let's not forget domino which you're going to need down the road later for unlocking doc Ock, which you could use in a tech section but um yeah i would open the orb i would open the orb there's so many different ways to go with this i think if i was starting over right now i'd probably focus on ant-man so i could get jubilee and get that solid solid raid team for them uh, heroes for hire obviously because you want a solid uh hero team that you could use bring into multiple game modes and uh the sinister six for that villain team so here's for hire ant-man and then the sinister six that's what i would focus on in the blitz store but probably you're probably gonna get the best bang for your buck getting the most character shards by getting the blitz orb so i would actually focus on the blitz orb at first and let's talk about the war store now there's no orb for this and you're not getting a lot of currency until you start war and only three pop up randomly as you can see this store is getting more and more and more crowded who are some good ones in this store well as far as newer and mid-game players there's one character here that i really would focus on and that is ghost and again we're focused on jubilee now this is the character that you want to build though uh you could just gear on just put the shards put those stars on the other members of Pimtech, but Ju uh, but ghost that is the one that you want to build up now I know a lot of people aren't really using her in Endgame. I still use her in tech section of Doom 2.3 as one of the backup characters. So she's going to have a lot of uh, backup use. You also have Maria Hill here for that unlock of Omega Red. You also have one of the more important Axemen on the team with Bishop here. So uh, Bishop, Sif, who's getting a rework with the Asgardians. Maria Hill for that important Secret Avengers team and that unlock for... Uh, Omega Red, but like I said, the best character for newer mid-game players, I think, is right here in Ghost. And that is it. These are the constant legendaries that we're going to focus on. Again, the two that you want to focus on right now are Shuri, because she adds a lot of value. She's the leader of the Wakandans, the legendary leader of the Wakandans. We got uh, Nick Fury. Now, you can use him in the skill section of Doom, but I would recommend someone like Shang-Chi. But you're getting him so that you could unlock Omega Red. And then as far as uh, these characters here, Omega Red, one of the best characters in the game. Morgan Le Fay, one of the best characters in the game. Jubilee is one of the best characters in the game. 
And when you could get Omega or, or Adam Warlock, once you already have Jubilee, that's a character that uh, I would recommend getting. And that is it. That is it. Focus on a few different teams. Heroes for Hire, Sinister Six. You can start to work on your Young Avengers. You can work on your Kree minions, but Heroes for Hire and Sinister Six are going to be your two big characters. And then other teams, like I said, the Young Avengers, the Wakandans, and a few other teams that you may need just for some fun in the game. But that is it, guys. That is my list. Let me know what you thought of it. I haven't been a new player for almost four years now. So uh, some of this is based on what I'm doing. This is a very different new game, new player experience than I've had in the past. But uh, yes, hopefully this guide helps you. These are who I think if you have some difference in opinion, let me know who are some other characters that you would focus on very early on in building. Uh, but that, that that is my choices, guys. Here's for Hire, Sinister Six, Young Avengers, Wakandans, and the Dirty Cree Minions. <laughs> Hopefully this guide helps you. If it did, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to get more videos and to get notified as soon as they go up, hit that notification bell. I will see you guys later. I'm on Twitter a lot. Check me out on Discord and check out some of the other sponsors down below. Hopefully have a great day. Stay hydrated, stay positive, and I'll see you at the top. Hulk fist bump. Valley flying out. Have a great day, guys.